Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream O2 oxygen sensor on a Kia Rio. Now this has the 1.6 liter four cylinder. I believe it was made by Hyundai. If you have any other vehicles that utilize that same engine, the process should be the same. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, unlike the upstream O2 sensor, which if you want to see a video I did showing how to replace that one, I'll have a link across the top down in the description. That one can be done all from inside the engine bay. You just pop the hood, everything is accessible right from up top. With the downstream, we're going to have to get underneath the vehicle so that way we can remove it at that point. Now the harness to it is right up here at the top. So I'm going to pop this open and we'll take a look and I'll show you where everything is located. And then I'll show you what's needed to complete this and we'll go ahead and take care of it. We have this engine cover here. We're gonna get that out of the way so we can get access to everything. I'll bring the camera in here and show you where the harness is. Coming along here, this is your GDI fuel pump here. Right behind it, you'll see two harnesses. You have the black one up top, that's your upstream O2 sensor. Then you have the gray one back there underneath that is for the downstream O2 sensor. So all we'll do is just pop that harness off and then we'll go underneath and remove the sensor. Now you'll see here on the heat shield for the um, catalytic converter, you can see the upstream O2 sensor wire right here. Then this one back here going along that way, that's the downstream. We'll have to remove it from those standoffs. Looking in from the top, there's our upstream O2 sensor which is before the catalytic converter. And if you look down there, that's our downstream. So you can try to access it from the top. I just found that from the bottom, you have better access. Now you wanna make sure that you're safe anytime you go into your vehicle. I do have it on these Rhino ramps. If you wanna see a product review I did for them, you can check that out. But I always use jack stands as well as a backup. You don't wanna rely strictly on them. And you definitely don't want to just rely just on your jack when you're going under vehicle, but let's head on underneath and I'll show you the uh, downstream O2 sensor. So looking this way, this is our exhaust pipe going up. You can see the flange where the catalytic converter is bolted on there. And right below that flange, that's our downstream O2 sensor that we'll need to remove. Now you wanna make sure if you've just driven the vehicle, be very careful because where you're gonna be working that exhaust area and the catalytic converter, it's extremely hot. You don't wanna be getting burned. However, sometimes if these are seized on there, which can happen with O2 sensors if they've been on there a while, sometimes you do want it to be heated up a little bit to help get it off. But let me show you what's needed to remove this and then we'll swap it out. You obviously need your replacement O2 sensor. You want to make sure when you order it, you do specify downstream. And also you'll notice that the plug on the downstream is gray, the upstream is black. And you want to get a good one. You don't want to get some cheap unbranded stuff from, uh, you know, online or whatever. You want to stick to the name brand stuff when you're dealing with O2 sensors. A ratchet with an O2 sensor socket. I have two different kinds here. You can use whichever one you want. I prefer this one. If you don't have one of these, you can also use a 22 millimeter wrench that will also work. Now, if you're wondering how we got to this point where we're replacing the downstream O2 sensor, we have a, a vehicle here. We replaced the upstream O2 sensor. We were getting the code for that. And then we were getting the P0420, which pertains to the catalytic converter normally. Now the catalytic converter had been replaced. If you wanna see a video I did on how to replace the catalytic converter on this vehicle, I'll have a link across the top, also down in the description. After that was done, we're still getting that P0420 code, which a lot of times pertains to your downstream sensor, but you want to run live diagnostics on it. Usually your upstream O2 sensor is going to be more erratic. Your, your downstream is going to be more stable. If you want to see a video I did explaining more about O2 sensors, how they work, terminology, things like that, I'll also have that link across the top down in the description if you want to dive into that more. But we are where we are now and we've diagnosed it as the downstream, so that's why we're replacing it on this vehicle. There is a close-up of the harness for the downstream, and if we look here on the side, you'll see there's a little push button right there. We can push that down to slide it off. So we're gonna come in here, push this, 
and then just gently slide that off. There we go. With this disconnected, the remaining piece on here is connected to the O2 sensor. You can see the cable coming up here. So we're going to have to pop this little tab off here from this little bracket it's connected to. And you'll notice it has like a little clip coming through. I'm just going to take some pliers, needle nose pliers, and just compress that down so we can slide it out. Should pop right out. All right, it's out. We have that nice and secure. You want to slide it down like this. So this is away from the actual um, hex pattern. That way you can get either a breaker bar or your ratchet in there. Slide it all the way down till it meets that so we have a good lock on it. And then now we can connect onto it and we can pop that off. Here's how it looks with everything connected. I had to turn it down because you have this shield here. It can't get the ratchet in here too well. Sometimes these are seized on here. If that's the case, you may have to use a breaker bar. There's other ways to get a stuck O2 sensor off. If you want to see the video I did showing how, there's different methods. You can check that out. But we have it in place now. So now we need to see if we can get a good enough grip on this thing. And we're hitting here, but we switch hands. Get a good grip. <clears throat> All right, not much clearance here. I'm going to have to get an extension. I'm going to use a, actually, I have a breaker bar with an extension that can fit in here better. As you can see, it's a tight fit in here to use just a regular ratchet. If you have a longer ratchet, that would help. Um, I have a breaker bar that's a lot longer that I'm going to use, and uh, we'll be right back. There we go. Loosened it. Let's check it out. There we go. Slide this off. Now we can undo it. This thing is really on here. I believe this is the original one. Let me actually pull this off. Pull all that down. That way that's not getting tangled up top. And while we put the new one on, we're going to want to put some anti-seize on this thing. Look at that. Okay, so here it is. This thing looks very dirty. We're going to get the new one out. I'll show you the comparison of them, and then I will put it in and wrap this up. Here's the new one. So it comes with the anti-seize. We'll put that on the threads. Put that on there. You do not want to get it on the sensor, but there we are. And I will head underneath and put this one in. We're going to hand thread it in. And then we'll be back to tighten it. Now you, you don't want to connect the harness yet. So as you can see, I have the harness laying next to it. So we'll get this in. Put our harness over here because you don't want the harness getting twisted up. Let's tighten this up. And then I'll meet you back at the top to connect the harness. There we go. All right, 
right, so everything has been tightened up underneath. It's starting to rain, so we've got to wrap this up. But we'll see here. You should be able to see there's our new O2 sensor. And I have the harness right here. We're going to bring it up this way. However, we want to feed it around here so that way it can go to this little standoff right there. So you have that one. There's another one. I don't know if you can see it. Um, we'll go underneath and I'll show it to you right now. Here's the one on the bottom. All right, but now that that's set, bring this here. You'll see this little tab. We're going to put that through just like the other one was. Bring this in. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. Lock that in place. And now we can reattach the harness. There we go. Make sure it clips. That's it. Okay. Get rid of this thing. That wraps up this video. Next thing you want to do is just put on this engine cover. Everything's good. But that wraps up this video on how to replace the downstream O2 sensor on a Kia Rio with the 1.6 liter four cylinder by Hyundai. Just in time too, the rain's starting to come down, but I hope this video was informative for you, helped you out with any projects you're working on with your Kia. I'll have links to many other videos I've done on this vehicle and this engine down in the description. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.